Hello everybody and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple mystery box there's some math and your challenge is to figure out what it is. You can use the link in the description to try this out and when you think you've got an idea come on back and see if we get the same thing. All right let's start today with a zero. Oh uh, zero gives us three and some really long looks like a non-repeating decimal. So maybe trig, maybe a square root function. Let's uh, let's put in a one. And just a little bit higher. How about a two? Huh, just a little bit higher again. So we've got a very shallow kind of curve there. I think it's a curve and not a line. Yeah, the first one goes up by about one, a point one four. The next one goes up by. 0.15, so a very shallow curve. Let's go in the other direction. Let's try negative one. And that's three exactly. So that distance then is um, 0.16. So it is a curve, huh? It's just hard to, to see. It looks almost like a straight line. Let's keep going in the negative direction. Okay, that's 2.8, so we're we're curving a little bit more, negative three. And a little bit more. You can see it's getting slightly steeper as it drops down. And I'll tell you, I have a hunch right now. I'm just going to try something way out um, in the positive, so 10. OK, so that continues on in the same direction over this whole space. And I think that the curve is getting more and more shallow as we go out. Does that remind you of anything? Let me go farther to the negative. Let's just jump to maybe a negative six. Ooh, and that gives us a two. That's going to be good, I think, that we happened upon that one. Let's just do the next few. Negative seven. Uh huh. Negative eight should be instructive. Aha. Uh -huh. That is the decimal I was looking for. I had a hunch this was a square root function, and this is 1.4142. That is the square root of 2. I recognize that decimal. So if we go over one more, I think we're going to get to 1. Aha, and one more, we're going to have 10. Or sorry, we're going to have 0. At negative 10, we're going to have 0. OK. So. I think this is the square root function. It's just been moved way over. It's been moved over to the right 10 spaces. Because if it, this was just the square root of x, then we would have um, this point at the origin, at 0. But it's at negative 10. To do that, we add 10 under the, the radical sign. And I think that's the whole function, f of x equals the square root of x plus 10. So let's just try a couple of likely candidates. Let's try negative 1 and negative 6. If I put a negative 1 in here, negative 1 plus 10, and then take the square root. Well, negative 1 plus 10 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. And that's what we got. And here at negative 6, negative 6 plus 10 square root, uh, that's going to be um, 4. And so that should equal 2. And that's exactly what we got there. We got 2. So I think we've got this. I think that's our answer. Let's go ahead and reveal. And there it is, the square root of x plus 10. And we can graph that as well. Yeah, and you get that nice square root function, that curve that's pretty steep between 0 and 1, and then gets shallower and shallower as it continues out to the right. Well, how did that go for you? Did you think square root function? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.